you know, in this era that we live in, people want to be known as by what they do. But yeah. for me, I didn't want to have an identity crisis. You know what I'm saying? By the time I got older, from being that little kid that could always get the attention, oh, go dance or go sing or go do this, go mm-hmm. do that. I just wanted to know more. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today we have a special guest in the building. Without no further ado, we have Miss Shy Speaks. What's up? What's going on? It's all good. I'm happy to be here. Uh, being here is an indication that I'm successful to some degree because that's the name of the podcast. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I feel I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should feel good because you're successful to a high degree. <laughs> so I mean, we 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 rocking with you, and I know it's it's been it's well overdue, but you know you know we got you here, and and, and I'm excited uh, to be able to sit down with you, to be able to take time and just you know find out a little bit more about you and just share you with the people who who might already be familiar with you, but then even those who may be introduced to you. So, Shy, just share a little bit just about who you are and, like, you know, like what, what you do for those who may – those people who are asleep out there. Yeah, 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 they sleep. I just got to wake them up. No. Wake them up. Uh, wake so them up. I am uh, – my name is Shy. Of course, I'm artistically known as Shy Speaks. I am a hip-hop and spoken word artist uh, and a speaker as well. And uh, I say that my mission, my mission is to reinfuse positivity and spirituality into urban mm. culture through the arts and the power of my voice. That's very cohesive. Mm. You just knocked that out. You just knocked it out. Like Shy that. speaks. <laughs> yeah, Shy speaks. Man, there, there it is. Mm. How, how did how did this come about? Though, like, when did you first realize, you know, that you were you you had a heart for music, you had a passion for music. Mm. I mean, I feel I realized that when I was really young. I come from a musical family, so almost all of my 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 cousins, my aunties, like I'm, all my aunties either play an instrument or sing. Cousins as well, a lot of them sing play. So I didn't play anything, but mm. I knew music. I understood it. Like we we listen to music like this. Like we. We, we break down the music. Like, I can isolate and hear the bass from the snare, from the this, from the that, and appreciate everything. It, we, it's that deep in my family. So I knew from a very early age. But I really, really knew when when I when I could sing this H-Town song. I, I, <laughs> I was young. Okay. But I could hit this little H-Town run. That's how I was like, okay, you could sing. But as far as being able to rap, I knew probably when I was about maybe nine or ten years old. Um, because my ability to like recite and regurgitate the raps that I hear in a way that's believable to people who they like, damn, you sound like the real person. So yeah, mm. yeah. Oh wow! It happened when I was young. Thank you for asking. Though. Yeah, you said nine or ten. So then, f- so from there, mm-hmm. then you just continue to yeah, like continue to nurture it or right. So so actually, probably before then, maybe about seven or eight, I was involved in oratorical contests. Mm. So um, my mom they knew that I had the ability to like remember and recite like monologues and poetry because I could like watch a TV show or a movie or anything. And I could like repeat the entire thing back like, girl, quit saying all the lines, but I could say (laughs) it, deliver it and act it and like really give it. And so they put me in oratorical. And so that's when I started developing a passion for, for like monologue and for poetry and for word and for spoken word. But then you couple that with just being from a musical family and then that's where you you know that's where you get shy speak so I I kept going um and I started finding my own voice after I realized I had one Mm. I realized I had one I found my own voice and I started finding my own words because I started being able to like therapeutically write what I was experiencing or what I my perspective and stuff like that. And so, um, but yeah, I, I kept it going. And then at one point I just like stopped a hard stop, like at about seven or 18 when I went to college, I just totally quit. What? What? Shy, you know, you got, you know, you can't leave us hanging like that. <laughs> so you, so you just, so you were, you were in the oratorical contest and those are the ones where you like, you share, you speak and mm-hmm. like do different speeches. Yes, contests. And- so you would, you, you compete against other, you know, other your peers mm-hmm. and you got to like recite Maya Angelou or recite this very powerful 
you know, like young boys who learn how to recite Martin Luther King, mm-hmm. you know, and be able to deliver it with that same intensity and passion. Mm-hmm. It makes people feel a conviction when you speak like yeah. that type of uh, thing. So I would do those. And then, like I said, I started realizing I had a voice and started realizing like, okay, all right, I I know how to do this. I know how to write. I, th- these are my own thoughts. And what happened is as I grew up, I became known as, you know, shy, you know, shy that rap. Oh, you know, shot at sing. Mm. No, you know, shot at be dancing or shot at. And I began to be known, you know, theater, the one that be acting, the one that be in the play, you know. So I began to be known by what I do. It was like, it was like a, a, a disclaimer on me. Mm. And that's, but, but the issue with that is that's all I knew of myself. And I got to a point where I was like, I really want to know more of myself than just my talents. I really want to know and I want to grow in a whole different way. So Mm -hmm. that's when I stopped and just kind of focused on growing uh, professionally, growing as a woman, growing academically in college and all that kind of stuff. But that that's really what happened. I just kind of got full of being known as shy that blah. You know, it's crazy because Mm -hmm. now, you know, in this era that we live in, people want to be known as by what they do. But for me, I didn't want to have an identity crisis, you know what I'm saying, by the time I got older, from being that little kid that could always get the attention, oh, go dance or go sing or go do this, go Mm -hmm. do that. I just wanted to know more. And so I just kind of tried to, you know, I tried to stop, and then I tried to focus on growing. And and as I did that, I realized, like, man, whew, um, there's this whole gift that I have and this this entire ability to be able to speak a language to people that I probably should pick back up and go out and reach culture. Mm. <laughs> That's so good because I mean now and now hearing this backstory and yeah. and, and you know I, and I and I've you know I've I've, I've listened to your projects. I've I, I've seen you <clears throat> I, I've seen you speak and present live and and then now hearing some of the backstory like connecting it it's, it's like pretty dope it is yeah it's, it's, it's pretty dope it's, I can it's pretty see you, dope yeah you, you processing like mm, interesting the, 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 the contest yeah mm, the musical family the mm, 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 she stopped but yeah yeah i and, can see you you processing it. it i feel like it's normal but um i'm sure like it is it's probably interesting to to other people to see how a person gets to where they where they are at the present moment yeah yeah, yeah. And, and i mean i think that's one that's one of the things that that greats do mm-hmm. it, it's greatness is normalized mm-hmm. so with it being normalized like your work at the the way you put words together somebody else is somewhere at home or in a studio writing lyrics or well typing lyrics mm-hmm. and then trying to make them make sense but then it comes natural for you mm. yeah. so it's so it's normal for you but then for somebody else they might say oh, i can't Mary had a little lint. Uh, I do not like green eggs and ham. I don't know. It don't make sense yeah. to me. But you know, for you, it, since, it's, since it's normal, because this is what you've—I don't want to say—been bred to do, but yeah. <clears throat> but just having that level of a gift. Yeah, talk. Go ahead. Yeah, and you, you talking about it is making me realize that there's this there's this terminology called like nature and nurture, mm. and I do believe that. There are certain things you have by nature, meaning that it's you were born with it. It's a natural inclination. It's your talent. It's your gifts. And so I think that you just made me realize that it was also like nature and nurture. So mm. like because of the family that I grew up in and being able to listen to music the way I do and having being able to have that soul that I have like in music that came from somewhere that was nurtured. Um, also, my family recognizing that she has a natural gift with with words and presentation and and speaking in a way that's believable that like they put me in contest and different things and acting and all that kind of stuff so that I could like really like come up with what I call my gift mix and mm. so but yeah I I it's nature and it's natural I I never really thought about like I was bred like that yeah. you know but but now looking back because I know I know there's a lot of people out there and uh, because a lot of my, my target audience typically that listens to the podcast from just the feedback I've received is is people who, you know, they might be working at the job, but they still want to do other things, et cetera. But they may or may not have the support. Mm-hmm. But now you being where you are now mm-hmm. and, you know, you've you, I, know, I know you're not going to say it. So I will, you know, be, being on being on records with, with some with some big names. You was on on, on, on a record with Kirk Franklin. Yeah. You, you, you was on the record with, with Lecrae. Yeah. 
You was in you was in the cipher. But the yeah. B the B E T cipher, right? No. It I, wasn't the BET. I thought it was the BET cipher. Sprite I, cipher? You know It was I, a cipher. It was a cipher. I've been in some ciphers, but I don't think I I haven't been in the BET cipher yet. Oh well we calling BET out now. Come Cause, on. Yeah. Cause BET, BET I, got it, got it. I thought it was a BET thing. I already got a BET cipher written. Like oh. not just, I just <laughs> nah, hey, I mean, but I do hey. have a sway interview written though. Like oh. I was like, I should, I should have something to say. Wow. At least my opening lines or something. Even wow. if I choose to go off the dome from there, but man. I, yeah, man, I want to see you on. I want to see you on sway in the morning. Yeah, I, I, I want to see you just give him some quick bars. Be like sway, sway look, sway? boom. Yeah, we gonna cut this and gonna send it to him. <laughs> hey, we gonna mention him. But, but just seeing this level of support that you yeah. had then. And seeing where you are now, like talk talk about talk about support and talk about how it's impacted you just in this trajectory of where you are. You know, you really are causing me to think about it. Like I guess like even from younger, that's considered uh support. Like that's that's a form of support from your family of seeing what you're good at and then pushing you towards it. I actually wanna speak to because I know you 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 cater to uh people who feel like they want to get into something but I know a lot of those people are also parents at, as well mm -hmm. while they're trying to uh, find their passion and get into their passion full-time they're also raising I, I want to tell them like it may be hard for you to figure out within yourself because you have all this going on and you're an adult but if you have a child it's not as it's not as difficult within a child to, to mm. figure it out. I would say to spend their time, spend some time looking seriously and intently at, at your at your child's like natural talents, their gifting. Um, <laughs> uh, spend some time looking at your child's talent, their gifting, the way they learn, um, because sometimes the way they learn, it may be different, but it doesn't mean that they're not like genius in some type of way. And so I just really wanna encourage them to do that. And I think if you start off like as young as I started off there was never a question in my mind mm. of what I was passionate about or what I could do um and so um now if I could do it full time now that was always a question in my adult mind but but from a child um I knew what my talents were and I knew um my my impact where my impact with people was mm. um so I want to speak to them then I want to talk to uh just as far as support I would say Oh man, I think early on, right? I talked about um, stopping when I was about 18, mm -hmm. cause I was like, I'm gonna go to college. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be shy at whatever. I wanna be a, I want to, I wanna go to school for like business and engineering and technology. I wanna work in like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna yeah. do something totally different besides just that, just the gifts that I had. And uh, but as I got ready to graduate um, from from college. My friends would hear me around the, you know, just kind of around hanging out wherever we'd be or at the house or whatever. And I'll be, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'd just be singing like naturally. <laughs> you know, like, or I'd be like, hey, look, look, look. I ain't never been, a, you know, but mm. it's not because I was trying to present it. It was just naturally in me. It'd be stuff that I would write just therapeutically, but I had no, and I was like, just not gonna be the shy that did that, you know? <laughs> and so, so crazy, but. My friends um, around were like, girl, you are good. Like, even your basic, I don't mean to present this to the people stuff is good. Like, you, you're you humming around the house, your raps that you just spitting around here, or your little spoken word stuff, all that stuff is, like, really, really good. And, like, we want to help you get it out to people because it, it be, like, it be blessing us, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and my friends, uh, sh uh, shout out to, like, uh, Mike Hines, uh, Jay Paul, Jay Paul Sings, who is has been featured on a ton of records. We can't even name his track record. Um, but he's an R&B artist now. But at the time, he was just my friend, and he was just like, you're good. like, And I want to help you find producers, find graphic designers, find whatever you need to like, so that you can record all this stuff you be saying around the house just, mm. just for fun. Go do this. like, And I think... Um, I think this is so I want to speak to this this point. Sometimes we're looking for people to support us in yeah. something that is like I feel like people will support you in what they they recognize that you're mm. great in. 
right? It's not okay. no different from okay. the parents. But they'll, like, if they know and they see it, like, oh, yeah, this is legit right here. But we'll try to figure up something, make up something in our own mind that we want to do, that we want to be, and then just expect people to support it because of the person we are. And they're like, eh, mm. but you're not that, you don't, it doesn't feel, you know mm. what I'm saying? So I feel like with me, I wasn't really seeking their support in that way. It was just something that I did and something that I had that was just like, it was just worth supporting to people. And then from my friends, I was like, okay, we'll go ahead and package it, put it together. And then once we put it together, I'm gonna just let people know, like I, I was speaking first, right? Mm, okay. I was I, I put it, put aside the music and all the poetry and all the rhythmic stuff, and I would at least go speak. Sometimes people would ask me to come out and speak. So when I would go and speak, there would be people who'd be like, oh, I could tell that you have a u- unique voice or whatever. <laughs> Do you happen to have a CD? You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Like Just stuff like that, and it would just, it became like a demand for it. So by the time I by the time I actually put together a project, there were already so many people ready to support it. Mm. They would like they, they you know how like it, I'm sure so if you if you're listening to this, there's there's this thing that people are like, oh I couldn't wait for you to finally do this. Like uh, like I got a cousin, he want he he any everybody in the family, if he said right now that he was starting a catering company, oh they would just be blessing them with stuff, sending them all kind of stuff. It would just be because it he can cook, like, mm. but that ain't, you know, that's not what he pursues, but he can really, really cook. It would just be a no-brainer, you know what I'm saying? So I just want I, I just want to say to people, like, there are things that you have that you do that you're so great at that even if you don't believe in yourself in them, with them, other people will 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 see and co-sign and sign off on it. Give them be like, nah, you, this need to be, this need to go beyond just us. This need to go to everybody. They want they wanted to spread like oh your passion that you have even if it's on a nonprofit side like you're just very passionate about women and da, 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 da. like people man I'm telling you if you if you really have something that you're passionate about and it's good and people see it support will come and so I just wanted to speak to those people um, from the parents and the p- persons that's waiting on support now um, whatever that is that 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 people can't wait for you to you to do mm-hmm. I don't think you'll have to beg for their support. Now, hold on, wait. I want to hop in real yeah. quick. I want to hop in because you said something that was so yeah. good. You said it, but I don't know if you caught that you said it, or you said something and then I pulled, I extracted this from what you said. But what you basically told people out there is one, they got to keep working, mm-hmm. but two, they have to build a demand for themselves. That part, yeah, yeah. You got to build a demand for yourself. Retweet that because it's so it's so crazy that yeah. we want to get people to support when we're first starting out. Yeah. And whatever business, whatever industry, I mean, the statistics speak for themselves. Within the first two years, if you doing something and you really not, you really not all in for it, yeah. then you are gonna quit. But if you're trying to get somebody to back you, and you're like, hey, give me this, put this in on, and then they back you, and then you lose, they lost too. Mm. But when you build the demand yourself. Mm-hmm. You put in the footwork yourself. Like you said, you were just, you were rapping around the house. You were singing around the house. You were doing this around the house. And then the other, the other, the friend came up and the friend was like, well, wait a minute. Well, I, you're so good yeah, that I'm willing to help get this yeah. for you. Yeah. So you built the demand, yeah. even though it might have been unconsciously, but you built the demand just by doing what you're passionate about doing. Right. And I would do, and I say it around the house, but I would like sometimes we would go yeah, to open yeah, mics yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. And I'd be like, I'll get on the mic, you know. It was like that. And they would mm. be like, man, this just feel like it's just, you just didn't feel like a person who just did this for the first time. I guess they could they could subconsciously hear all what I was built and bred for, mm. you know what I'm saying? But like in, the, in those little moments like that, it, yeah, I know what you're saying. It was like, hmm, I built the demand. And then there was... Um, then there's the, the the fact of like once you're <laughs> once you're out doing something like okay I was like all right I'll at least start speaking mm-hmm. like I'll at least do this or I'll at least do this part I'll do this part I'll do what I can and then from there once you're properly serving whatever wherever I was doing it at they uh-huh. just enjoyed it so that by the time I presented them a product they were like and I pre- and I packaged the service they were like. Of course, like mm. it, was, it was an of course for them. So it wasn't really I had I didn't really have to chase it down. But I was gonna say um, on the flip side though, there 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 does come a point where 
support has to come outside of your sphere of influence. Oh, say it for the people in the back. Oh, let me say it on the other side. <laughs> support. <laughs> there she go, acting all theatrical. <laughs> but no, but it has to come from outside of your sphere of influence, right? So just your mm -hmm. the area that you have to man. And so I think that it my sphere of influence supported me. So whether if 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 it was somebody who wanted to buy the product versus it was a teacher who was like, Man, I've been waiting on somebody who was powerful and positive and blah 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 mm. to come and speak at my school. There were just people like that, but they were already a part of my sphere of influence. Mm. Then there's this as aspect of trying to get people to support you outside of your sphere of influence, and that comes with a whole different thing. And I think this is where I feel like support is important. Mm. If this person is not in your, somebody who's looking for support or needs mm -hmm. to be supported is not in your sphere of influence, but they align with your core values and they align with your principles, you should be supporting them. So let me, let me, mm -hmm. okay. Talk so to that, talk let me, to that. So let me say, for example, if let me pull it outside of the music world but in, still keep it artistic if this person says i'm into fashion but i'm into uh locally sourced naturally uh created organically made you know whatever the proper terms is for mm -hmm. fabrics that are made with a, a high social consciousness to it okay. if you're a person who are of high social consciousness and you believe in like being as as, as eco friendly on the planet as possible okay they shouldn't have to beg you for their support because your core values align let's bring it back to music and this is where i feel like there is a lack of support that i feel like i experience sometimes um i, I feel like i got a lot of experience uh, uh support outside of my sphere of influence mm -hmm. but there still is a lack and i think there's a lack not because i just don't i feel like when it comes to music people listen to music in a way that doesn't align with their core values. Like mm. I could most, especially within an urban context. Oh, wow. You could be, they be like a whole accountant, but they at the desk listening to like Future or somebody, uh. you know what I'm saying? That, or whoever, somebody that's like, doesn't really talk about anything that like a trap song, you know what I'm saying? That's, it's like, that's, that, that's that a good really, point. That's a really good point. Right. So, right. So we, uh, and so we, we're so busy appreciating all those other art forms that we don't take time to be like, Hey, this is an artist. No, she's not doing every, what everybody else is doing mm -hmm. as far as female artists is concerned, but she is, she does align with my core values. She's all about positivity. She's all about spirituality. She's all about bringing balance to the culture. She's, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. she's musical. She's soulful. I'm into soul music. Like all of, if all of those che things check off, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be hard for to get support. But with an urban context, I feel like sometimes, <laughs> Uh huh. We support stuff that I, I'll say it like this. I like to say we support foolishness sometimes. Mm, my God, that's a word. <laughs> foolishness, like that stuff, don't even align with what you're about, and this wow. is not even what we're trying to, what we hope to stand for. Like this is what I, I want to see this in the community, and I want to see this in urban culture. I want to see this in black culture, and the things that you want to see, you mm -hmm. need to support artists that are doing that. And I don't think that we do that. We support who's ever most popular. Mm -hmm. Like if they can sing or they look popular. They just look pop. They look like they own. Then I'll go ahead and start supporting them. I like them, even if they put out some trash. They'd be like, "Nah, I mean, I still like it," because they'll just come up mm. with excuses. You know what I'm saying to why they support it? But it's really because they just popular. In the context, if somebody is not extremely, extremely popular and popping, but they align with your core values and your principles, you should be supporting that. And if that's what you want to see in your culture, and if that's the people who are gonna bring it to pass, that's what you. That's what you should put. But that's my soapbox. Let me get off of it. <laughs> that was good. Shy, we were just talking about having people uh, in your sphere of influence and having them and having that level of support is huge. Mm -hmm. And it, even you talked about having people outside the sphere supporting and, and doing the things that you're doing. Because, you know, I, I'm on your email list. Yeah. You know, I, I, I get the emails. Okay. So, uh, so, so, yeah, you know, we on there. We in there. Uh, so just talk a little bit about um, like, like some, some cool things that you're rolling out. Like, like what was it? Shadowing, shadowing Shy? Yeah, Shadowing Shy. Talk, talk, so, talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so that is a... Simply put, it's like we're we're coming along and, and tuning in is the same thing, right? Mm, so, you know, okay. you can tune in to my YouTube channel, but when you're tuning in, you're going to be coming along. So I'm going to give you an over-the-shoulder view of whatever I'm doing. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, so 
um, I'm taking people. It's pretty much like vlogging, but for me, uh, I'm taking them into. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's a vlog series, but I'm saying I call it Shadow and Shy because I go into a lot of different arenas. So one day we're behind the scenes of me doing voice acting. Then mm. there's another day we're behind the scenes of me doing custom poetry at a conference. And then I'm doing hip hop at some other place. So it, it, it kind of gives you a, a variety of almost like a 360 view of what I do and what, what all goes into like you know, being the, the person and the artist that I am. Okay, that's 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 super super dope. Super dope that you you know you got that you got that going on. Yeah. Um but but just just in just in terms of support, like what what could people do? Like if they're like, I mean, Shy, I I, I follow you. I I've, I've heard the music. I want to hear more music. Like what could people do if if there was a way just to support Shy speaks the brand and what you got going on? Per, uh perfect question cuz cuz currently right now we have something um, going on so like my team and I uh, came up with this idea of okay. like creating my first ever fan powered music video mm. um, and we're calling it fan powered aka crowdfunding okay. but basically we're gonna the reason why we're doing that not that it's like a new phenomenon but for it's, it's my first time but the reason why we feel like it's the perfect time is because like I said I'm not just I just don't have the support from my small sphere of influence. My my, my reach has expanded. Okay. But, and so I feel like people outside of like the, the core niche could want to get involved in this. And here's why I think they would want to get involved is because the song, what the song King represents, right? Mm. So King, when I wrote it, was inspired by, to, to inspire men to see themselves as, as kings, right? Like I know we hear a lot of, girl you a queen and you know uh black girls rock and and magic you know all, we got yeah, all yeah, the, yeah, yeah. we got all the terminology but we, i just feel like in the midst of that we wanted to take some time to uplift men and then this particular the way this particular project unfolded as far as the king like the whole music video is the there was a there's a the creative director of a photo shoot it mm -hmm. was called it's called 100 brilliant boys of color photo shoot and they were inspired by the song king that i wrote wow um they were inspired by there's a poem that i wrote as well directly to kings and, and so they were just inspired by that so they called and was like hey would you like to be a part of this photo shoot we were very inspired by your song and mm. like the shirts and the merch and all that kind of stuff wow. and i'm like hold on wait you said 100 you're gonna have 100 boys coming together for a photo shoot that sounds already epic and it's gonna be 100 brilliant boys of color so okay this is sounding like on brand with exactly what king stands for mm. and then um i was realizing like i'm i'm in the process of getting ready to shoot the music video for king anyway how about i not just donate clothing for the because I have I have merch, right? Mm, so with okay. the song, song came out with, with merch as well. Got for, to, for got me to. Yeah, so yeah, got to. they were like, well, hey, can you donate some clothing, right? Well, outside of the clothing, it was like, can you write? As you know, I know we love your writing. Can you write in the magazine? Mm. Sure. And I was like, they were like, and we can get you a photo with the boys. I said, beyond a photo, wow. we can actually get a video with the boys. And once that happened, Ooh. I like I immediately called like my publicist. I was like, not only will we just have some boys in the video, we can have 100 brilliant boys of color. And what makes it brilliant is, is, is like, these boys were dressed in like different uh, career fields, like mm. the way they were styled. Wow. Like some were doctors, some were firemen, some were policemen, some were, you know what I mean? Mm. And it was just, I don't know. It was just so epic, and so I realized and after after that moment, I realized I don't want to just put out a, a, a King music video the way I was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. We're we're gonna capture this moment, capture the video footage here. But now I don't want it to just be like, ah, oh, that was a cool video. Yeah. Like I like it has that looked artistic, mm -hmm. but I like I want to make it a movement, mm -hmm. right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah we yeah, want to yeah. make it a movement because. Not only was it epic to be there and like stand in stand and be surrounded by 100 boys who represent the future, who represent families, who represent uh, positive images from men of color from the urban context. Like, wow. not only I know how I felt being there, 
I just feel like so many other people will want to get involved hmm. and help that image be spread around the world wow. so that other boys could see themselves in those boys in that video. Oh my and goodness. so we were like, okay, yeah, let's make the, it's time to do your first thing because people want to get involved. And so we created a King's Now Fund, hmm. which allows people to uh, give uh, or contribute to the the project budget for the music video, but not just give to it, but they get to like be in the video, like wow. be involved in the music video. So they're not just powering it with their funds, but they get to be like on set and you know what I'm saying? Mm. So we we have this whole concept and um, and the from the 100 Billion Boys of Color, the, remember I was telling you that the, the shoot was organized by a, a creative director. Well, that creative director is from an organization called Beyond the Ball. Okay. Well, we are, uh, we have officially just named Beyond the Ball um, the official charity of Shy Speaks. Mm. And so, yeah. yeah. And so as we, um, as we give to, as people give to the music project, they're going to be also giving to the Kings Now Fund. And mm. that fund will go on to continue to fund Beyond the Ball. Uh, which is an organization that focuses on creating opportunities for boys of color beyond sports. Mm, beyond the ball. Oh, wow. I just connected. Yes, beyond wow. the ball. So, because, you know, that's the, the idea is that you know, you're going to play soccer, you're going to play basketball, you're going to play football, you're mm. going to do something like that if you're going to be successful. But they can be successful in so many other ways, you know. Yeah. And so that that's an organization that exposes them to so many different opportunities. And I want to consistently give to that. So if people... Want to if you if you're listening and you want to support not just the King music video but you also want to support Beyond the Ball, mm. um, you can do that at the same time and potentially be in the music video and a part of all the exclusive perks that we're going to give people who are uh, who who decide to you know power this video with us. Mm. So we have um, we have a website um, link up and and some stuff we posted on social media, um, but. Ultimately, you really could. It's a couple ways you can get involved. So you can okay. go to shyspeaks.com slash kings now. Okay. And from there, you can select your individual level of uh, involvement. Whether you just want your name in the credits, like, hey, here's some money. Just want my name in the credits. You go ahead and just make the best <laughs> video possible. But some people are like, hey, I want to come to, I want to be a part. I don't want to be in the video, but I'll come to like a private event. We're going to have mm. a private um but like a, a King rap celebration concert that like at the oh, end of the wow. at the end of the shooting day we're gonna have like a concert exclusive you know so people might want to come to that or they may want to mm. just be in the video or be or get what we would call the royal treatment which is like you get all of that plus get to have lunch with us the monarch that's what we call oh, it oh okay you get the, oh like, that makes sense yeah, yeah 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 like you get to you know have a professional photo taken because again there's going to be professional photographers and filmographers there mm. on scene so we're giving like a, a ton of perks and benefits in exchange for uh for their contributions uh but Ultimately, you get to give to the Kings Now Fund, and it's available again, shyspeaks.com slash Kings Now, or you could just subscribe to the email list like JJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, how, how can they get on, on the email list? How yeah. can they do that? So first of all, I'm calling him JJ, like, because it's like a personal thing that I'm calling him. That, <laughs> this is not the professional name that you want to be. Not, no. Hey, we're good. Cool. We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, when you know somebody for a while, you could kind of do that. But y'all just call him whatever he want to go by. <laughs> But yeah, like you could be a part of the email list. Uh, what we're doing as far as the email list, you could get on that. Not only can you get my email, be a part of. I'm not one of the people that's gonna spam me. I'm only sending you a few emails because mm. I just don't want to bombard you yeah, like that. But yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, send you that. information. Uh, we got information going out very soon about the Kings Now Fund and how you can support that and be involved. Again, like I was just saying, if this aligns with your core values, yeah, which I yeah, believe, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, a lot of people have the same core. We want to see you. They got they paint paint uh, black men and brown men in, in a negative way, mm. and we got to do better. Well, I'm I'm trying to do better. Oh, you know what I mean? Gotta so step up. you got to come on, come help me. We're gonna do better, and we're gonna push it and make the video go as viral as possible with all everybody's help. Mm. So you can you can 
be a part of the email list. All you have to do is go to dearEverybody.shyspeaks.com. Mm. Now, the reason why I'm telling you to go that way, dearEverybody.shyspeaks.com, is because not only will you be on the email list, you'll be subscribed to receive my mixtape as well for free. Mm-hmm. See, I'm all about mm. giving to the people. Support the real people that mm. give stuff away. Oh, <laughs> and, and you're not just giving out no trash music. You're giving out some solid music. Yeah, it's not no give. These are not no giveaway yeah. tracks. These are not no, yeah. you know, people yeah, like, yeah, yeah, those, those, yeah, those ain't no throwaways. That's some good stuff? Yeah, those ain't no throwaway okay. bars. Yeah. I told you, I, man, I, I I can't remember what uh what mixtape it was. It golly, it, it was a while ago. I got your mixtape because I think you had uh, it not was it Otis Redding in the back? It, it was oh, the one yeah, with the with friend, the. It was a, it was a oh EP. my It was goodness. called Invited. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You talking about heaven? Yes. Say one oh, day I'm going my goodness. up. I'm going up. Uh, I'm going up. I'm going up and never coming. Yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, Look at him yeah, he over here yeah. doing hand movements and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, man, everybody, people, a lot of people like that. But yeah, I'm not. All my music is, is, is. I feel like at a certain point, all your music has to be to the level of the mm. one song that everybody loved and higher. Mm. So when you go to the website, wow. you'll get the current mixtape, and it's to the level of the song that he just referenced or yeah. higher, as well as you'll be able to be contacted whenever we send the official email out to people about the King's Down Fund. Super dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have I'm gonna have all that down in the, in the information in the description to make sure that people can definitely access that and uh, get blessed with them bars and then even mm-hmm. have the opportunity to bless the boys yeah. through the fund. So. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely definitely gonna make sure to gonna make sure to hook that up, and uh, man, we're, so we're just gonna we're gonna go right into this uh, this segment that I have to call this or that. Just cause we like to have a little fun. This. Have a little fun. Or yeah, that. you I you like can get with this, this, or you can get with that. Or you, you can, can get, get with this, or you can get with. Hey, okay. <laughs> 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 oh goodness. So Shy, this segment here is just like I said, I like to have a little bit of fun, but taking the time uh just to do like a little rapid fire question answer type situation. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have a couple of questions. Are you ready? I am, sir. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Coke or Pepsi? Mm, neither. Okay, that's fair. Okay, we'll rock with that. Chick fil A or Popeyes? Chick fil A. Oh, what, what's your what's your meal at Chick fil A? What you get at Chick fil A? Uh, I used to get the number one, but I'm okay. a vegetarian now, so I just get fries. Really? Yeah. <laughs> or a oh, salad wow. or something like that. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Is it does it give you more energy? A- absolutely. Mm. Wow. I like I like I like to eat steaks and stuff. Come okay. on, but okay. you do you want your energy or not? <laughs> right, we're gonna keep going with this. We're gonna keep going. Okay, so would you prefer cold and sunny or warm and rainy? Mm. Oh I would prefer Mm, warm and rainy, I guess. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Rap or R and B? Oh, rap. Mm. Singing or spoken word? Um, singing. Hmm. Work hard, play hard. Work hard. Okay, fair enough. That's it. See, that's it. That's it. That was easy. Can I? Can I do you? Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. We're good. You yeah. got it. You got it. No, yeah, no. You ain't no, ready for yeah, these questions yeah. I got for you. No, no, no you got it. <laughs> Quantum physics or no, oh, like, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> like, mm, I don't even. I'm about to say, oh no, <laughs> oh. Okay, so now, now it's just the moment that I, I, I really like this segment, and this is what we call the winner circle of the week. Because it gives you, the guest, the opportunity to shine light or give flowers to somebody or a group of people that you feel have not received their just due. Mm. So who would your winner circle of the week be, Miss Shy Speaks? The winner circle of the week for me is women in hip hop, especially mm. the ones that are the front facing artists. There are a lot of women in hip hop who are behind the scenes, but the women who are actually rapping, who are actually of substance, mm-hmm. of character, mm. things like that, like they, they don't get their just due. I think mm-hmm. like, yeah, I think they need a little bit more, a little bit more, fl- they need more flowers. Yeah. Mm. That's real? I do, I think That's so. That's real, okay, okay, I respect it, I respect it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then last but not least, so there's just, so I'm, I'm one of the people that I like a good quote. Mm. I like a good tweet. So, now it's just your opportunity. 
go, wait a minute, Fun Baruski. <laughs> and now is your opportunity to just share with the people just an encouraging word, a quote of the week, something that you just want to leave with somebody. Because, I mean, you've added a lot of value through this. You were giving tangible. You were challenging people on core audiences. Mm. You were talking about what support looked like. You were talking mm. about how people can get connected and get your good music. Mm. Uh, and you even gave people an opportunity to give and to empower and impact generations to come. Yeah. But what would be a, a, a quote, a phrase, a script, whatever that might mm. be, that you want to leave with the people? My guiding quote right now is actually from an article entitled Privilege by Kyle Korver. And it says, mm. and we all have to be accountable, not just for our own actions, but the way that our inactions can create a safe space for toxic behavior. Mm. Wow. <laughs> it's spoken like a true orator. Mm. <laughs> yeah. She said, nah, I can't stumble. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Won't be Man. stumbling now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shy speaks. Well, she doesn't stumble. Yeah, that's She a, that's runs a... the ball. She don't fumble. Hey. Mm, look at him. Hey. Okay, I see you. <laughs> nah, see hey, you. hey. We just, I mean, I think some of you rubbed off. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one, one more time, just let people know where they can find you. Uh, let the people know how they can get connected. Just just go ahead, share your information, please, because the pe- people need to get connected with you. They All got right, to. So I would say. Um, to visit my website, um, shyspeaks.com. Um, that's S H Y S P E A K S dot com. Um, there you'll be able to find like a, an entire world of music and poetry, be able to contact me. Um, I'm pretty responsive to anybody that reaches out via contact form, but if that's too much for you, I'm also very responsive on social media as well. Mm-hmm. So you can follow me on. Uh, my primary platforms are like Instagram and Facebook, so you can follow me. It's at Shy Speaks, and of course YouTube, so you can see what Shadowing Shy is all about. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Subscribe. Shadowing Shy. Everything is always Shy Speaks, all one word. Boom! There it is. I let you, girl. Yeah, there, there, there it is. She said, "Get connected." If you're looking to book somebody to come out and speak, you're looking for somebody to come out and bless the people with some words, looking for somebody to come out and maybe get booked for a performance, then reach out via reach the out. contact form. Yeah. The if, contact form. If yeah. you're an uh, upcoming artist or an emerging artist and you just feel like you need some advice, go through the website, hit the contact form. I'll be willing to share whatever I know, however I can help. Wow, that's real. You real yeah. for that. D- didn't have to say it, but I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, man. goodness. So we're, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, this is Jonathan Jones logging out with the one and only Shy Speaks. And just reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?